update means it will maintain maintain the history go to update when we go for update system is asking what is the date when you transferred an employee and june 1st what is the reason transfer there is a manager request the reason for transfer here manager request Okay. Let me just do this. I'll show you. This is very important in the interviews also they'll ask you. So in the interview point of view, they'll be asking you, if I want to transfer an employee, how we can perform? There are two ways we can transfer an employee. One, we can do it from my client groups it means like admin navigator my client groups person management from this page we can do it but this is like admin access you can access uh, any employee and you can perform the transfers global transfer termination every action can be performed but client says that i don't want to give the access to transfer anybody uh, only the manager should transfer this employee. Others uh, should not transfer. Okay. So that time what happened? We, we don't give the access to this role. Okay. So we don't give the access to admin role. Who is the manager for this employee? Employee is uh, Jeevan Kumar. Employee name is Jeevan Kumar. And this employee is joined in the company 1st January 2023. Who is the manager? Let me come back here. Yeah, Curtis Fitt is the manager. And uh, this manager can go for transfer. Actually, that's the process. In case if HR department wants to do it, generally they'll do it, admin access. So that we know already how to do get this access. This is uh, which role? Human resource specialist. That's the role is required. Okay. So what I'm trying to do is I'm going to log in as a manager and try to transfer this employee. Let's log into the Curtis Fitty. We do not have the idea what is the password. Let me reset the password. I'm just resetting the password 128. Let's do this here. Now manager is going to join. Curtis fit. So if manager wants to perform the transfer, then which role is required? Line manager. That is the role required. If you have a role called line manager, then you can perform. Go to my team. So this my team option, you, will, you are going to get it from navigator uh, because of the role called line manager role. Because of the role called line manager. Now go to my team option here. Go to my team option here. Once we go to my team here, we can find all the employees uh, who are reporting to Curtis Fitty. This is uh, the list of employees. Now here is our Jeevan Kumar. Now manager can just go through the information of this employee, like uh, complete employment information and all, when he has joined and all the details. Now he want to transfer this employee. He want to perform any promotion, all these actions, promote, or he can terminate, then all these options, change salary, change location, this. So now we wanted to go for transfer this employee location. Currently, which location employee is working? In Redwood City is working. Now we would like to transfer to New York City. Let's go for change location. Any comments and attachments if we want to do, we can do it. Just check the checkbox. Uh, when you would like to transfer and why you would like to do the transfer. So we wanted to perform, let's say this employee has joined on 1st January 2023. And if you want to go for transfer this employee on 31st December 2023 onwards, 
location change. Why are you changing the location? That's uh, a relocation. These reasons we can specify from the actions and action reasons task. Uh, synchronize the position from yes, uh, no. I don't want to synchronize. There is a concept called position synchronization, right? So in the position, you will find uh, some details, department, location, job. So if you want to transfer according to that, you can do it. Otherwise, you can change. So I don't want to get the value from the position task. I wanted to enter the new location, New York. So click next button from 31st. Employee has been will be working in the New York from 31st December 2023 as per the manager request. Some comments or attachments. This is all general, general requirement. Okay, well, let's go for any seniority dates, nothing but any other information. Details can be done. So click submit button. Now manager has transferred this employee, but that record will be effective from 31st to December 2023. If there is any approval, then we can find that approval process. I don't think so approvals are enabled for this employee transfers. Let me cross check once. Where do you will come to know the transaction details? Go to tools menu, transaction console. From the tools menu, transaction console, you can find out the status of your transaction. Maybe you hired an employee transferred or global transfer termination or reverse termination or promotions. Any transaction you have done, if you want to know the status, we can find it from here. It's showing that it's in progress. In progress. Let me just click on it. It's approved by workflow system and it's submitted by Curtis Fiat. And these are the comments and attachments. Of course, it's done automatic. As I said, it's auto approval. Okay. It's submitted on so and so date. And the process reason is this and employee name is this and all. Okay. Let's go back to Navigator. And we can find my client groups, person management. I just wanted to search. Uh, the record has been updated or not. PAT. Click search button. Sorry, our record is Jivan Kumar, right? Jivan Kumar. I wanted to check on December 31st. Choose the date. Effective as of date. Click search button. See, the location will be changed. Location will be changed. You can check this checkbox in case if terminated work relationships are there. We can also find that terminated work relationship. Now, Jeevan Kumar will be working in New York from what is the date? Effective date, 31st December 2023. And location change has happened, relocation. And uh, he will be working in which location? New York. I want to see the history of this employee when he has joined, after that, how many promotions happened, after that, when it is transferred, these all details. We can get it from here. Click this button, view history. View history is the button which is going to show the information of the record. So it's clearly telling us that uh, employee has joined on 1st January 2023. On 30th December, it's a closing date in this location, hiring, and location is changed from 31st December 2023. He'll be working in different location. Okay. And these are the reasons. So we will, you might find these two fields, action and action reason, almost when you are performing any setup or transaction. So those details we can find out. Right. So that that's where the details uh, uh, reason will give more clarity. So no need to perform because if the organization has some thousands of employees, and where due to some business uh, reasons, they will be doing transfers and other things, right? So they wanted to have exact reason and other so that they can easily understand why this happened like that. That's why we'll maintain. 
there are two options here view change details will give the complete uh, changes information here in this particular transaction or i don't want to have the change details only i wanted to have all the attributes nothing but all the fields information then you can get it from here and you can use this button export and you can view the history of this record which user has created and if you want to see other columns we can find these all are very simple like uh, end user navigations understanding i just wanted to click this button view check details see that uh, our system is clearly telling us uh, old value was uh, redwood city and the new value is this this value this okay so that's that's how it's going to work next uh, i wanted to view all the details all attributes it will shows all attributes also so we'll have a detailed information about the transaction whatever we have performed over here okay so this is about uh, the transfers and uh, the transfers can be done either from admin place it means like uh, my client groups and person management or the employee manager can log in from my team but when we are working in the project obviously the process is this from my team only uh, all the promotions transfers terminations reverse terminations all these things should happen okay so when when we say that uh, how will you perform the transfers in the interview point of view we have to say that uh, if we want to perform the transfers make sure that we have the role called line manager and so that the managers can log into the cloud applications and choose this my team from navigator and choose the employee who are reporting to him and then try to transfer an employee either location change or any any other business unit change or job or position within the legal employer if we do it within the legal employer that's going to be transfer if you do it across the legal employer it means from one legal employer to another legal employer then it's going to be global transfer it's going to be global transfer that's how we have to explain in the interview point of view okay thank you